What's up, guys? Oh! <laughs> 
Back it over the 
him know ready, boy.
Come on, roll back the tracking! Come on, Ireland, you're tracking! Run down the track! Come on, Ireland, you're tracking! 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 Oh, 
People here in the front just sit down so the people in the back can get a better view. I'm just going next to your we'll also prevent the crowd moving forward, hopefully. So if you can sit down and uh, just before the presentations begin, just to remind everybody there's plenty of refreshments inside in the main hall at the moment. Soup sandwiches going very cheaply. At the moment, Munster are 10 points up with 10 minutes remaining. Ronan O'Gara went off injured in the end of the first half. And they're still very well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as chairman of the Sub Fixer Task Force, who are responsible for organising the tournament, it gives me great pleasure to congratulate both teams on a fabulous game of football. I think that they deserve a warm round of applause for what they served up here today. To me, it, what the GA is about, it really was a day at the club on an Ireland tournament final organised by 
a club here in Port Marnock in Dublin, contested by a team from Donegal and a team from Cork. Uh, it really was um, an advertisement for the association and really what the association is about, the club. I think we have, couldn't have had any better examples than we had here today. Congratulations to the both teams. It was a, a day of two great goalies as well. There was some fabulous saves during the game. Yeah. Yeah. I was told during the week that I wouldn't be surprised if Island Rovers won the Cork Senior Championship this year yeah. and the Major Rovers. Yeah. So, sincere congratulations to. Uh, in the Ro Island Rovers, the winners, they were fabulous. I nearly made that big mistake. I was warned not to do that. <laughs> I've rehearsed it so often, I made the mistake. Anyway, um, I want to congratulate you, lads. It was a fabulous game of football. The weather really made it as well. Everything came right. I know both of you had a, a long journey here to get here, but it was worth it all in the end. Um, it's an inaugural tournament. Next year will be official. It was passed at Congress this year, and we ran it as an experiment this year. And judging by the reaction from the clubs that were involved right from the beginning, it's certainly here to stay. And I sincerely congratulate you. You're a fabulous team, and you're well worth your win here today. <laughs> to, to St. Michael's, you were brilliant in the feast. It's a hard thing to accept the feet at this level. It's a long journey back, but I think you've added greatly to your stature as an intermediate club in Donegal, and I know that you will do well in the senior status this year. So congratulations and well done to you. Uh -huh. I want to sincerely thank uh, Donald Power, chairman of the Port Marner Club, and the club itself for the manner in which they have organized today's event. They closed the main field there for the last three weeks, and they did everything that was possible to have it in ship shape, and I think they deserve a very warm round of applause for what they have achieved here today. And I would like to single out Jerry Harrington here, he's vice chairman of the Dublin County Board, a member of the Port Marnock Club, also a member of the club task force, who was the driving force behind as well. So well done, Jerry, and thank you very much for your this committee. Seeing as it was an inaugural tournament, we didn't have a cup, but we have uh, something that you can keep and display in your own walls back in Cork. So it gives me great pleasure to present this to the winning captain, Kieran Daly. I think that brought us through today, and I would like you to, to keep your biggest round of applause for what is the senior team of Island Rovers today. <laughs> Victories like today don't come around too often, and don't come around without a lot of, of hard work. A couple of people I'd like to single out, um, namely, not you, Faulkner Collins, but uh, your brother, Chris. <laughs> been outstanding as a selector and player all year long and when Alec Welly got injured there he stepped up to the plate once more so first of all I'd like to thank Chris Collins. Secondly, um, Davey Evans has been involved with this club for many years. He's seen an awful lot of success. He's put in a massive amount of commitment and he, does, he deserves his gratitude and round of applause here today as well. <laughs> I suppose the next two people 
I have to thank her, what you might call outsiders, although by the end of these last two years, I'm sure they feel more at home, and as much at home as Ellen Rovers as anywhere else. The first person I'd like to thank is a man from Ballyvorney who, who came in with an unenviable task this year. We'd won the intermediate championship. What else could we win? Well, he's already after winning three cups since then. That name of that man is Michal Creighton. And as far as we better not forget our fellow from Ballin College, Mike Meese, and against him in the senior championship this year, you never know. But that man deserves a special mention here too today. He brought us all the way to the county title last year and from what I see, he still has a subtle influence involved there. I certainly can hear him on the field anyway. That man is Tom Dorgan. There's a lot of other people that need to be thanked, but if I was here, thanking them, I'd be here all evening, and I'm not one for big, long speeches, so I won't uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I won't keep it too much longer. I'd like to thank, most sincerely, our supporters. You guys out there who are with us, to a second, ten, through every kind of green and white, hair colors, every kind of a thing in front of me there. He makes this, this day special, and he deserves a big round of applause as well from the lads. Fair play. I'd like to thank the referee and the officials and the Port Manor Club for excellent organization today, but it takes two teams to make a great final. Now, we've been on the losing side of harsh uh, county finals when we lost before. semi finals, we know what it's like to lose one as well. It was a hard, it was a sporting game, he put it up to us, and, you know, your day will come again, and I'd like to sincerely thank St. Michael's for making a, an outstanding All-Ireland punch. <laughs> I'd also like to thank the, uh, the physios who have um, been involved with us there for the last number of years. Um, I suppose all that's left to do now is... Um, Everybody get back down home and we'll see you tomorrow afternoon sometime, maybe. Um, maybe. Um, last thing, I'd like to invite the Ellen Rovers panel over here to join in me in uh, our national anthem. Yeah. 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 I have much choice, sir. Come on, you're all loud. Come on, Murphy. Murphy. Come on, Murphy. Come on, Murphy. Come on.
Up the road!